Alright guys, before the video begins, I just want to uh, say a few things while we're looking at some shots I took of the MDX Type S and Tiger Eye Pearl. i seen the first one in person, uh, the first one I've seen in person, sorry. Uh, I know it's been out for a long time, but um, finally seen one in person, so I had to get some uh, shots of it. Uh, the color really, really is, is pretty cool. It's different. Um, a lot of mixed, mixed emotions, mixed opinions about it. Some people hate it, some people like it. Um, camera doesn't do it justice though. It's a really cool color. Uh, if you don't like it, all I'm going to say is uh, let it grow on you. Look at it in person and um, tell me what you think. You might change your answer. But before we get into anything, uh, quick shout out Auto Detail STL. If you are in the St. Louis area, the greater St. Louis area, you need any type of body work, auto detailing, wheel repair, uh, anything of that nature, uh, be sure to visit them. Website down below gets you a free estimate and get some work done to your car. So it's no secret that Honda's next big project will be them dipping into the EV market, much like everybody else at this point. And of course, Acura won't be too far behind them with their version and their copy of whatever they come out with. So Honda has already said that they are planning on uh, building a Honda uh, Prologue for the 2024 market year. And that is going to be the first year that they will go full EV on the vehicle. So naturally, Acura will have something uh, similar to the Prologue and will be full EV as well. Thus, the 2024 Acura ADX, um, I'm not sure if the ADX is the name that it's going to be sticking with or if that's a code name. Uh, we don't know anything yet. Acura really hasn't said anything yet. This is all just kind of speculations here. Um, kind of little stuff by little. Uh, nothing's been revealed. Um, how it's going to look, nothing. Uh, but we do have an article here which we're going to uh, dive into for Car and Driver. I'm not sure how old this is, but it uh, can't be that old. So if you guys remember about a year ago, maybe a year and a half ago, I'm not sure exactly when. Uh, but in the past, um, GM and, and Honda made an announcement that they were going to be pairing together for an EV project. And uh, this is what it is, the 24 uh, Prologue and then now our 24 ADX. This is a full-sized SUV um fully electric and it'll be the first ever for both uh companies to go full ev on a vehicle so it's going to be pretty interesting to see what they come up with here and how they stack up against um, everyone else's ev uh, projects um so right now i have a um uh we're going to read this article here we're not going to read all of it but skim through it and uh here on car and driver um so like i said earlier we're just going to skim through um got adx from acura uh full size ev suv and then it's going to be based off the honda prologue which is um the base like the the baseline of the evs and uh the adx will be a some sort of um build off that just like everything else honda acura um how that has always worked here we have some price points um, so like, you know, all Acura cars, uh, we've got, you know, different packages. We got the base tech, a spec and advanced. That's pretty standard, uh, has been for years now. Um, starting at 55 K, um, I believe the 22 MDX, um, so this year's MDX 20 or the 22 MDX, yeah, starts at somewhere around here as well. Um, so they're going to be pretty comparable on that, in that aspect, um, the tech goes up to 58, a spec to 60 and advanced to 65 for EVs and it, it's the sad truth here, but the sad truth for, for the, uh, the car enthusiasts like myself and probably some of you watching is the sad truth is the EV market will take over. Eventually there will be all EVs and that's the end of it. Um, so we're, we're slowly seeing companies that have not dipped into EV yet start to do so in the coming five year span. So it's it's really interesting to see that Honda and Acura is finally coming into the picture uh, in 2024 with their first um, editions here, the um, Prologue and the ADX. Now, how these will stack up against like Tesla and some other EVs, um, I'm really not sure. Uh, these are full size SUVs. Um, these aren't compact in any shape or form. So it's going to be really interesting to see like how much. How many changes they're gonna to have to make to 
just everything for this to work. What it'll even look like, I highly, highly doubt it's going to have uh, our diamond pinning grill here. Like in this, uh, I believe this is an MDX uh, or something. Uh, they're all the same grill, so it's hard to tell. But um, it's uh, I doubt it's going to have anything like that, any features resembling this, maybe. Um, but for a full-size SUV to go full EV is, is pretty impressive, not going to lie. And I think if any company were to pull off an impressive um, amount of sales with it and make it work, I think Honda and Acura are the two, technically one, um, to do so. And I think it's, I'm excited for it. It should be too. Um, for the general, you know, car guy enthusiasts that are the move against EVs, unfortunately, at this point, there's no point in further um, bashing EVs. There's no point in further trying to get them to go away because at this point it they're here and you might as well embrace it we're not going to win the war they're not going to go away they're really not going to go away if anything more are just going to keep coming in and we're just going to be uh with backs against the wall so i think it's it's very important that um you take a step back and not look at it as a preference thing and look at it as a business uh target for a market and how smart it is to give people options when it comes to EVs because right now full EV vehicles there's not really a lot and it's typically I wouldn't say expensive expensive but for like starter for like you know low end it's pretty uh, pricey uh, but we're talking about a full size SUV here that's not going to be low end like I said starting at 55,000 upwards of packages maybe in 60 mid 60s maybe even close to the 70s it's it's not a market that's going to be tangible to everyone it's going to be a market that's targeted to a niche that's you know um kind of small i wouldn't say the smallest but small as in you know people that are already looking at honda pilots that are already looking at mdx's that are already looking um at you know large and some odysseys maybe i wouldn't say odysseys because those are minivans but like van vans People that are looking for those are now going to look at these, right? Because, well, for one, um, gas prices in current day are keep going up. Um, are and I'm not going to get into a lot with that because there's nothing to do with this really. But um, will gas prices ever go back down in the next few years? Probably not. I I don't know if they're going to go completely down to you know like a dollar fifty and under average, but I think they're going to stay either where they're at or be higher. I don't really see them going down so if anything this is going to push this uh, whole ev market even further and that's something that a lot of people have been realizing um not just like the past five years but the past few years where um it's becoming more like beginning to get more and more scarce to uh, rely on our resources for gas and it shows even today in current day that how little of a change makes and gas prices go up and the demand is so high um but that's enough with gas price i'm not getting into that but what my point is is it's it's only going to drive the market more i guess um demandable to these uh people that are shopping for a you know a big suv third row suv i'm you know assuming this will be a third row suv it's going to be a it's going to be alongside the nbx it's going to be like a um an option not not an option to the mdx but like you know an option for wh which one to buy um and i think you know spending 55k plus um the people that are going to look okay well i can have this the traditional mdx or i can have this adx you know i'm, I'm assuming since this is a luxury um vehicle it's going to be very long range it's going to be just gonna check all the boxes of rely like long range everything you'd want for a just a family car um there's gonna be no funny business or anything it's gonna get right to the point and it's gonna do it well um i i don't see this thing failing like it's it's really hard when you go into an ev market especially now where you know maybe five ten years ago it was rough but now it's like becoming the new norm you know now we've got more companies than ever you know interested in ev market so it's 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 really 
it's interesting. It really is because it's something that we've never really, we're not really used to. Um, it's a big change in the car community or in the car market, I'd say more than the community because we can't really say car community and car market. Those are two separate things. There's an enthusiast and a buyer. You, you can't get into it. It's a There's no gray area. If there is, there's very few people. But um, I'll say it's a never-ending war between um, car buyers and car community, car enthusiasts and car buyers, I guess. there There's a big war. You know, you got full-size SUVs on one and you got manual sport car sedans gas powered on the other it's it's divided everybody should know it's divided by now um but anyways what that has to do with this is like I said five ten years ago you know a company like Honda Actor going full at EV with a, a vehicle I don't know if it would really sell that well especially at this price point it would be on the high end um, because I think at this point, um, some lower end Teslas are a lot cheaper. Although again, you're not going to get a full size SUV, but, um, now you have, uh, you know, five, 10 years ago, there was only, you know, Tesla, you know, barely even Tesla and a couple other things. And EV wasn't really, no one really thought it was going to just crash a wave come crashing in. But now five, five, like, you know, five to eight years later, we're now here in current day, 2022, and you know, for even this to be uh, for 2024 is even greater of a reason because now you have it's almost doubled the amount of manufacturers interested in going EV. You've got so many different EV vehicles out there right now, um, and rumored to be even more coming in, and it's going to be the new norm. So what I'm saying is, I think Acura and Honda are timing this. I think pretty right. I think we've had enough time or you know the the, mar the general market has had enough time to um kind of shop around sit back watch the ev market evolve into what it is now um because you know like i said five ten years before no one knew if it was going to take off no one knew if it was just going to dud but it took off and now is the time you know sales are showing um especially how convenient it is with Rise, with, you know, r rising and lowering and inconsistency in gas prices, it's an oil and it's 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 very interesting because now, more than ever, especially by 2024, 2025, whenever this thing, I don't know if it'll be delayed or not because of you know the the chip shortage and stuff like that. That's kind of still going on, um, kind of tapered down a little, but who knows? Something else could happen again, and we'll be in the same boat we were now, um, but. It's for Honda and Acura to time this right like they are. I don't think it's too soon. I don't think it's too late. I think they're timing it perfect. Um, you'd say, you know, by 2030, we'd be like, well, by then, most 90%, 80, 75, 80% of manufacturers will have at least one EV vehicle. But now you're saying 2024, you know, that's in two years. Um, you know, and even, you know, three years if worse comes to worse that's still it's not today but it's not 10 years from now it's it's a, it's a little bit in the future it's enough to where you know right now the ev market's doing well and if it even gets any higher by the time these come out it's going to boom and it's going to be great um and i'm not saying that because i fully support ev um i think every car enthusiast has kind of a sour spot for evs i i don't know it's just it's kind of how it is but in terms of supporting a brand in terms of um just diving into a market i think this is a really really good i a really good opportunity for honda to do this in the time it's doing it no matter if you don't support it or not you have to agree that they are they have something and it's very unlikely that it'll fail Honda has really has been really really careful and really really particular about the vehicles they they make the vehicles they manufacture it's very very rare for a Honda vehicle to fail I know in the past we've had you know Honda the CRZ that would stuff like that we've had a few here and there but especially now in modern day and age with all this technology Honda is really up there especially with their luxury models and even Acura models, 
it's it's going to be really hard to mess something up. Um, I'd say if, you know, if they were to make this ADX and this, uh, prologue like eight years ago, it, it probably would have failed. But now where we've established again, the baseline of EV markets, everyone's investing into it. Everyone's showing interest now is the best time more than ever. And I think it's going to do great. Um, so that's just kind of my take on it. Again, we don't really know a whole lot about it. Um, so it's been interesting to see as, I guess, the next year. I'd say early next year, maybe next spring even, we'll have some sort of reveal of this thing. Um, I, I'd want to hope so. Um, some teaser, some reveal, maybe even sooner. But that is wrapping up the 2024 Acura ADX slash the honda uh, prologue so um obviously my main focus was the adx you know considering acura um but you know it's we're looking at both obviously it's you know same thing we're looking at both um but i just wanted this for the um <laughs> the attention i guess um so let me know what you guys think about all of this about how the prologue and the adx will do what do you think about Honda and Acura dipping into the EV market in this time? Do you think it's too soon still? Do you think it's going to be too late? Do you think it's going to pay off for them? Do you think um, it, it'll fall like their previous, you know, hybrid stuff, um, which now they're better, but I'm saying, you know, 10 years ago, they were, yeah, people, you know why. Um, just let me know what you guys think. I'm interested to see what you guys think, for real. Um, Give me your thoughts and opinions on on this news, I guess. Uh, it's not really breaking news. It's kind of old, I think. But just skimming through here, giving you my thoughts. Um, so, yeah, let me know what you guys think. And I will see you guys in the next episode.